all the people that are alive today, I believe Christians are the ones who have true hope. Yes, amen. There is nothing as terrible as the feeling of hopelessness in any particular situation. But the good news is, is you a believer, there is hope Amen. for every situation, irrespective of what the circumstances are. And the reason is because we have Christ, who is our hope. Amen. There are three powerful forces in the kingdom of God, according to 1 Corinthians chapter 13. Now abideth faith, hope, and love. But the greatest of these is love. And there must be a reason that God has put hope in the midst of faith and love. There are a lot of teachings on faith and love, but hope is one of the three powerful forces in the, God's kingdom. And God does not waste words, and I believe that for our faith and love to work, we have to have hope. Amen? Amen. I don't think that faith will work without hope, and I don't think that we can really extend our love without hope, for faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. And that means that you have to have hope that something will happen before faith can work. Amen. Someone once said, what oxygen, what oxygen is to the lungs is what hope is to life. Uh -huh. If one is deprived of ox oxygen for a few minutes, the person dies or at least becomes brain dead in the same way. If we give up hope, life begins to go downhill. But when we realize that in us uh, is the blessed hope, uh, everything begins to change. Uh, and when we were cast down, uh, we are not destroyed uh, because hope uh, begins to blossom and we believe that we're going to stand again uh, and God uh, is going to be with us. Amen. Amen. In fact, for non-Christians and those that have lost their hope, they are in danger. Because once they give up hope, they may be in a moment of deep despair, and they think that life is no longer worth it. And that's a powerful discouragement from the evil one. As a believer, if you're able to keep your hope alive, it does not matter what situation you're in, you will always come out victorious because it's in the middle of powerful forces of God. We've got the love of God and we've got the marvelous faith and in the midst of that is our hope saying tomorrow will come again because God is on the throne. Amen. 